All right, I'm gonna do one run with a fully charged battery. I've bumped the um, battery current. I accidentally almost tried to shut the screen capture recording off. Um, I bumped the battery current up 100 amps on um, the drive motor. So we should be good there. Um, let's see here, I think we're in a good place to do a run. <coughs> Everything's good. So, here we go. Interesting for sure. <clears throat> um, unfortunately, it's gone out of the screenshot, but there was a tick right at the start of the run. I have to look at. Uh, at least the video might have shown something. Um, I'll actually even be saved in here. I don't see it unless that's just this transition right here. I don't know. Um, we can also look over here in experiments, look at the plot, you can see it right here. So that's, that's definitely something I heard and felt. Um, I was a little nervous when I, when I heard it happen, but, well, I don't know, not too worried about it. Either way, this whole video should have captured um, a pretty decent run. Again, that's with 700 phase amps, so it's not... Um, full power and it's it's only at 342 volts. I'm gonna go up another 110 volts here once we get everything working as perfect as possible. But uh, for now, we're making good progress. We got some field weakening happening. Um, got some other cool stuff happening. Um, just sorting out some minor little tuning things and getting it working as good as possible before moving up in power. RPM right here is kind of interesting what was going on there. I wonder if I can see that anywhere. It's definitely interesting. Gonna have to spend some time looking at all these numbers. I'll leave this um, screen, I'll leave the computer going tonight so I can look at this again tomorrow. You can see we hit like 50 something degrees Celsius on that controller. I'm only like 35 on this controller. Um, they're more or less the same IGPTs, and I can run this is the drive and this is the regen, and still this shows higher temperature. And I don't know if what's causing that, if maybe the thermistor and the IGPTs is different, or I don't know, I have to look at something there. Something isn't quite right. Uh, I'm pretty sure the cooling system is exactly the same now. I have to double check that. Maybe I've got the coolant flowing in a different direction on this controller. I'll double check that to make sure, but I'm pretty sure I looked at that. Uh, nonetheless, it be nice to get this to this this line here. This power line should actually be a little straighter. Um, don't know why it's moving, but it could be actually it could be a little bit of an oscillation with a small bit of battery voltage. I think we could see that in the video um, because one motor is feeding the other. This little dip here in um, current, that's uh, phase current. That doesn't look right, so I bet you there's, I bet you we got something to look at there. Um, might end up increasing the PWM frequency. Before I've increased the PWM frequency and it worked better. In fact, I bet you if you drew a line straight from here to here, that's what it should look like, not with this dip, but I'm not sure. I have to think about that for a bit. <clears throat> Anyways, it's coming along pretty good. It's pretty, pretty exciting to see all this coming together. I think I'll call it a night. <laughs>